Hey everyone, it's Becky. I just have my design team project for the cross promo with the Genus Designs and Craft Supplies one that I wanted to share with you. Um, before I share though, I want to let you know that there's still the 25% off sale still going on in both the Zibit and the Etsy shop. And I'll post the coupon code for the, Ed the Etsy shop in the description box below. Um, so I guess I'll just kind of tell you, like, pretty much what I did from, like, start to finish. I should have done a tutorial or, you know, like a start to finish, finish video on this, but, um, I didn't. And so, mostly because I've been working at, like, nighttime and I don't have a desk lamp and so my lighting would be, like, really, really dark on my camera. So, um, let me just kind of go over it. Um, this paper that's here on this background I got from Michaels a long time ago and it came with this um, border punch you can see through it and I distressed it with my distressor tool um, just on the edges just to kind of you know just kind of fray it up and stuff um, I did cut let me just show you hopefully there's not a bunch of stuff on the back because I just tend to set it down in my paint um, I just cut a piece of cardstock a little bit smaller so that you know you could still see through that border. Um, just to kind of give it a little bit of um, backing, you know, so it wasn't so flimsy. Um, because I was putting on this round circle thing, and so I didn't want this piece to like give away too much. So. Um, and then I didn't do anything, the only thing I did was um, use my Distress Ink, my Vintage Photo, and went over the edges, and my black soot here and there. And that's all I did. It already came, you know, with the scripts, like, um, <clears throat> stamping, and then, you know, the design in the paper. So then I took this, and it's from a pizza box, it's a round circle cardboard thing that's underneath it underneath the pizza and I took off the first layer of the cardboard like the paper and I exposed the corrugated and so the whole thing's like that and then I went through and used my black soot distress ink and my vintage photo and just kind of went over the edges um, and then like um, over the edges of the corrugated so I did that over the whole thing because I didn't know where I was going to rip paper yet or anything. And then, um, like I said, I don't know what, I don't think I think I covered it up, but um, I don't know what brand this paper is, but this is Prima Engraver. And so then I took my paper and I had this one with the flower um, design and then, you know, the ledger. And I only had enough to cover this much of the circle so then I took the world map paper and um, kind of tried to make it meet up and I thought it turned out really good so I left it that way and then kind of where it met up I tore you know made it tore out the paper and exposed the corrugated underneath and, um, and then you know I tore it here and there and then I kind of pinched the paper and pinched it again there and tore some and pinched it there um, and then I went over it with the black soot and vintage photo um, and then here I did do some stenciling um, with my homemade modeling paste and maybe you can kind of see it um, here and there anyways it's there and so what happened is I was trying to do the stencil over the corrugated and it didn't work out. I pulled it up, I pulled up the stencil and it was this big blob. So then I was trying to wipe it away and then um, it left some modeling paste there. So then I went back in with my Distress Ink and just kind of um, tried to paint up the modeling paste that was left behind. It kind of turned out pretty cool. So there's that, and then I sprayed, let me tell you the ink, the sprays I used. Um, there, at first I sprayed in this area, I sprayed the Steampunk Sophia, the Lindy's. 
And um, and then um, I went over the edges, of course, with the Distress Ink. Um, and then I used some of this cream brulee cream, and this was like really light. It was just more of a shimmer. And plus, I couldn't get the sprayer to work because it's like almost gone. So, um, it pretty much just shimmered it up. And then I used a little bit of the dark chocolate truffle. Hopefully, you guys can see that. And then at the end, when everything was done, I sprayed um, some of this truffle from um, Shimmer's Paints because I really like the way this looks. And so. That's what kind of this color right here is, and then there's some up here too. And then I um, went ahead after all of that was done. I put on her. Uh, I painted my clock, <laughs> my clock piece, and that's from Gina's Designs, and I got that from our first cross promo. And I painted that with the vintage photo distress paint. And then I went over it with some of the, the Vintage Photo Distress Ink and then a little bit of the Black Soot Distress Ink. And then I um, kind of splattered the Dark Chocolate Truffle on it and the Steampunk Sophia. And then um, I believe that was it. And then I did hit it with uh, the Truffle, the Shimmers Paint, or Shimmers spray or yeah paint spritz sorry and um I hit it right there and like throughout there and then I glued that down and then I have the clock hands that go with the that come with the clock faces and there's that one and you can't really see the second one anymore and I painted those black or actually the first thing I did is I covered it with my homemade modeling paste and then I painted it black and then I sprayed it with um, the Steampunk Sophia, and so that's what how they turned out. And I did the same thing with this piece, and this is from Gina's Designs too, and I got that in my design team package this month. Um, and I, was, I told you I was going to do a layout with it, so I put it right there, and that piece right there is not supposed to be there. Uh oh. Um, and then, so I did the same thing there. I covered it with the modeling paste and the black paint. And then I glued that down. And then I have this picture of my grandma. Um, it was in a frame, and the frame broke. So I decided to use it on this. Um, and I don't have any, like, words or anything to match this paper line, so... But I'm gonna look for some, and I'm just gonna put, like, moments or time or something like that. Um, I just need to pick some up, so... Anyways, um, that's a picture of my grandma, and it's got this old mat. It's a vintage mat, you know, it's glued to. And so I just inked the edges with the vintage photo of on the mat, and then I pop dotted it up so it would set up off the page. And then um, I cut out the clocks and put the clocks down, and then some of the rulers from the paper, and I folded the ruler you know the ruler papers in half and then I um or you know on the edges and then I just cut them like you would a ribbon and so that's how I did that um and then I've got them here too so then there's the clocks and then the um like little circles you can cut out of the paper and I distressed everything um and inked everything with vintage photo and then here's some doilies from Genius Designs so there's that one, and then I have one there, and then I have another one here, and another one here. So those are all doilies, and I stuck them underneath the clocks. Um, and then this is a key from Craft Supplies 1, and there's a rolled um, fabric flower, white one. And these are paper, and they're brown and white two-tone, and then there's the black half-inch ones, another rolled white fabric. Um, this is a regular white fabric, or white paper, sorry, um, and I inked the edges of it with a vintage photo, and I think these are one and three quarter inch flowers, or maybe two, because, you know, they come spread out, and I just glued the petals up against the flower, and that's how they turned out on both of these, and then there's another black one and a white fabric rolled flower. 
And then, um, let's see, I think that's it. This is a fabric flower from Craft Supplies 1. A white, just a regular white one, and it comes like on a stem, like a spray. Um, so I think, I think that's it. Um, and then the lace I tucked up under where it's been, you know, lifted up and distressed. And this lace you can get from Craft Supplies 1. So there's just one little piece there. There's some more. And then I have more up here. Right there. And then there. And there. And I have some more here. And then I just kind of took my um, truffle, the um, shimmer paint spritz, and I just took took it out of the, the bottle, the top, and just, you know, kind of dotted it on there. And then um, I put a baby wipe over the picture, and I splattered the black paint, and then some of the steampunk Sophia. So you, that's where the little droplets come in. So I think that's it. So um, if you have any questions, let me know. Let me know what you guys think. Um, be sure to head on over. I'll post the link to the products for Gina's Designs that I used. Um, and then also I'll post a link to um, the Craft Supplies One stores and the coupon code for the sale. So um, I hope you guys head on over to both shops and check out what they have. And I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.